Yeah. Do, the, do the clap thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> when Rob's the only one that shows up for a podcast. <laughs> I really, I really want to clap, but I'm keeping my hands interlocked, so I don't. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you get the meat going. Yeah. His hands broke. It's like Kaylee in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, a, are you my hands, my <laughs> hands are above the table. That was like, you know the peng, the in Pengu when the seal's clapping? Yeah. That's what it sounds oh, like. Have, have you seen the thing of the seal going like this to itself? <laughs> yeah. The, oh. It's like slapping itself. All right. Anyway. All right. All right. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to podcast number 19. The, the intro better be in it. Yeah. <laughs> we got, Our intro is better. We got Drew back. Hey. He's alive. This week. And uh, mm-hmm. to start off this week, I want to tell you guys a story, which I told ah, story time. Drew a little bit about, but I don't think I told either of you guys no, about. No, this is virgin territory <laughs> to me. I got some residual story, folks. So Fuck off. I want to see when it was. I'm pretty sure it was on. You sick fuck. (laughs) I'm I'm pretty sure it was on Monday of last week. I uploaded a video. Uh, Yes, last Monday. I uploaded a video called Don't Be This Toxic or Don't Be This Player. And it was about a person on my team who was super toxic. Okay. So the match was a solo smurf. And my one teammate was just doing shit all and then every single time this one other teammate was just yelling at him being like you fucking idiot like you're the reason why we're losing <laughs> just Jesus. yelling at him and then i was like dude calm down like this isn't gonna help he's like no i'm gonna fucking tell this guy how much of an idiot he is and just kept going off and off and off about how much he hated him and was just like roasting him Tough everything scenes all around mm-hmm. eventually uh, that goes on for like eight rounds and then i finally like, mute him not to make eye contact he's like fuck it like, <laughs> <laughs> and like to, to this guy's credit he was carrying our Shelter team. children yeah like he had 10 kills and then the other team he was yelling out has one kill. right to be a fucking prick. Though. I know, and that's mm-hmm. what I said. I was like, it doesn't matter if you're caring, you can't be a prick. So I upload the video, and then he finds it. And he DMs me on Twitch saying, hey, can you take down the video for me? You didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> and I'm like, I just ignore him, like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then he emails me. I actually should pull up the email because the contents it. of it are... Like, is, is this guy a content creator also? Or is he just a No, he's dude? just some random dude. Um, I should mention that uh he this poor guy did just specifically exposed. say you can't share this email with anyone so i'm going to paraphrase it oh, okay um I'll, I'll read over his shoulder and say it that way <laughs> <laughs> he basically said hey i don't want that video to be on youtube i had a bad day with bad matches a lot of personal stuff um i'll give you two things to do first censor my voice and then second remove the video and if you don't do any of these options i'll be forced to take legal action against you because he posted my voice without my permission. <laughs> this mail will not be shown to anyone. I might strike your channel for posting your, my voice. And you have 24 hours to respond or I'll take action. Man, the classic, the classic, like, fucking... Takes one law class. And it's just like, dude. <laughs> yeah. not, I... not even. He he just weasels in a blackmail situation. Yeah. Dude, like, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, like, what? <laughs> it just makes no sense. And then not to mention, he also... It's just riddled with spelling mistakes and, like, grammar errors. So yeah. it looks even worse. He had a bad day when and... he was writing the email, too. Give him a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so I responded with, um, like... Basically Fuck stating you. what I know I'm aware of. Like, he has no legal grounds here because I don't have to censor anything. <laughs> Just mm. sign it, it sincerely. Don't be a fucking <laughs> prick. Yeah. And then I said, the, like, one, I'm legally in the right. Two, the video is not going to be removed. Three, his email address was, like, email for boosting. Like, in Siege. <laughs> So oh, you're I was just his like, business. I was just like, just so you know, I have your email here, and it suggests that you are boosting people for money. Reverse which, block me. Which, by <laughs> the way, I was like, by the way, you be soft. Reverso. <laughs> you be soft is taking legal action against boosters, and I can send them your email and get you like Oof. actually going oh, to court. Get you legal action, Gosh. and then um, this is a bloodbath. Yeah, and I was just like. Let me know if you want me to do that for you, and I'll send it right over to Ubisoft. And then he responded with, first of all, this account, this email address is just a joke between friends. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. Sure, man. Yeah. Um, and he's like, I didn't mean to send it from this email. Um, he's like, <laughs> I didn't mean to send it from this email. again, you didn't ask for my permission. You're abusing my legal rights and my personality rights. Don't know personality what Personality rights? Yeah, don't know what shit. that is. Buddies in Dora the Explorer world or um, some yeah. shit. And then he's like, you're, this video is aimed towards me and nothing else and you're giving me a bad name intentionally and it's giving me stress <laughs> and then he's just saying like i kind of believe what he said next he basically just said that he was getting like harassed by people people were adding him and then messaging him shit yeah and i was just like hey, man i was just like okay that's shitty i wish my community wouldn't have done that but like that could have yeah. just as easily been the people in your match adding him 
Because exactly. they were yeah. fucking pissed off with yeah. him. Like, yeah. it's like, just don't be a fucking idiot. I have one immediate takeaway from that, and that's a conversation I've had many times. No matter <laughs> how, he's like, Mom, I'm taking you to court. You didn't no, matter, no matter how shitty your day is, though, like... You always have to find a way to like not project it on someone else. You know Very what I mean? True. It's not yeah. their fault. It's like, but like, there's a there's most a line. People can't do that. Yeah, there's a line where like, like I'm not perfect. Bro, I'm I, just I, the I, biggest hothead. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm the I'm a pretty big hothead. <laughs> if I have a bad day at work and I come home and like, you know, something doesn't go my way, I'm like, I'll yeah, voice my like, opinion like about your, it. Like your parents turn plant based. Yeah, my parents <laughs> cake. I, I walk. How dare the, they? I walk. Say that. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. But like Rob's temperatures, <laughs> yeah. But like, I, I I'm a self aware enough to know that I know the difference between me being like an idiot and me actually having the grounds to be pissed off at someone. Yeah. And like most of the time, like I kind of get it out, and I'm like, shit, I was a, I, I know I had a bad day and yelled at someone. But I, I wouldn't go to the point of like screaming at someone. Like, cause this happened the entire game. You were saying, yeah, for like eight rounds. Like <laughs> for me, yeah. I'm, I'm like a one and done. I have my freak out, then I feel terribly down. guilty, and then that's usually how I roll, right? <laughs> you don't Man, feel guilty. It's Depends like, who it is. It's like when I'm going to hang out with Bri on a Friday, and I drive there, and I'm all hangry, and she yeah. says something, and I'm like all pissed off, and she's like, "Are you hangry?" And you're like, "You know what? I am. I am. Yeah, exactly. But you still have to own all the shit you said before. Yeah. It's not like it never happened. Yeah, you have yeah. to be like, "Hey, I fucked up. Like, I'm yeah, sorry. Like, I was, say, I was I am angry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, and he's made no att- intention of saying sorry. No. From yeah, the sound man. Of it. Tweet your sorry, and that's all you so, need to do. Yeah. All you gotta do is say sorry. This is all forgotten, bud. That's all it is. That's how we do it in, so, uh, in Canada. <laughs> that's how I felt about it when he first emailed me. If he had just been like, "Hey, I had a really bad day. Like, can you please censor my name or something?" I would have tried to do something. Yeah, I tried to blackmail you. I think YouTube has. A <laughs> feature, <laughs> I think YouTube has a feature where you can like blur stuff out. So I was like, "Okay, I would make the yeah. effort." But as soon as he was like, "If you don't do this, I'm taking you to court. You have 24 hours to respond." Yeah, it's like uh, you're just like you don't learn. Yeah. No. we got ourselves just, a Reddit lawyer here. Yeah, yes. literally. <laughs> so like, you just do something stupid, then bang your head on a rock until it stops. Exactly. Like, when um, did this happen? When did each one have you so, surpassed your 24 hour threshold? Oh, yeah. Video went up on Monday. He email, emailed me during streams, like three hours after. Oh, so it's been and a then week. I Chat, respond, look at this. <laughs> I responded with the one, and then I got eight emails back to back, like every 10 minutes, and being like, I'm stressed. Delete the video. I'm stressed. Like, you have to delete it now. Oh, I was shit. like, yeah, whatever. I Blocked left it. it. I get that. Yeah. I, again, junk, send the junk. Yeah. 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 Empathetic point of view. Yeah. Like, he's probably stressed but again it's probably just you reap kid. you, you yeah. reap what you sow in my opinion yeah, exactly. you know what i mean it's like yeah. and like if it wasn't me it would have been someone else and like if if, the, if he hadn't tried to blackmail you i would have taken this differently but yeah. he did try to blackmail you <laughs> so Why, it's like, like if he had just said hey man i fucked up please do what you can to keep my identity somewhat yeah. clean okay respectable hey man i fucked up but at the same time i'm gonna bring on your whole fucking youtube channel <laughs> your it's whole like, family's oh, mine it's and like then, take a fucking chill pill, man. And that reminds me what scared the shit out of me is that the next morning i woke up and i had eight emails of being like your video has been taken down your video has been taken down like blocked oh, worldwide gosh. i was like what the did this kid actually do something oh. and i looked into it it's just like a bunch of siege content creators got videos taken down the same night from some random oh, bullshit geez. error from youtube so like, oh, okay we're fine because I looked at the video and it was that specific video got taken down. I was like, he did it. He <laughs> actually fucking did Imagine. it. Imagine. My then, man. But it was back up after like an hour. So one just like, I can't even be mad. Like, <laughs> yeah. good for him. I, one man against the world, he gets it done. 100%. If that had happened, like, it, he actually got down. I was like, all right. Like, yeah. It's like, sure. Knows. All right. One day. Pulled some bad strings. You figured out how to do it, man. Good for you. But yeah. he's got ties in the CIA. Yeah. yeah that was my interesting AKA experience Google. from last week. So what are your next steps? Is Buddy still out there? Like waiting for you to respond know, to, him. to me. In like is the eight round screamer still on the loose? Eight round screamer. <laughs> <laughs> so where does uh, so where does he live? He's from Europe. That's no, all I know. No. Ah. So, uh, so that's like, why I'm assuming his English wasn't perfect. So like, what's like, what's his address? <laughs> no, let's get let's get Parker and Boobman out there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Mimi too. We got the Euro. No, don't squad. call them Mimi's for the serious cases. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't Mimi's like the yet. criminal minds level. Yeah, shit, this is right? yeah. this is low level, yeah. like not even Parker's shit. like the like corner gas type <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then we get Mimi on the with the big guns out. Jeez. But um. Also, one thing I noticed, but. I didn't want to say before the story. I didn't want to derail. Have you guys noticed? You two are both gray. We're both red. Red so, gang. Nice yeah, yeah, we, I'm we like gray it. literally all over. I probably can't do that without knocking everything. But you see, even True. my socks are gray. Yeah, this dude's wow. just literally head to toe gray. I didn't even do it on purpose. It's impressive. I just have a lot of gray. I wear so gray. It's been a great day for you, though. Yeah, it's been a very gray it's day. Been a great. <laughs> it's been nah, a great, gray, yeah, sorry. great. Sorry about that. It's called G R E Y T. Great. Can't spell it, um, so it's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. But... G R T A. What? Uh, G R T? G R 8 T. <laughs> but imagine just one great G R 8 and then put a T after it. Too. <laughs> Graded. 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 Did, uh, did Shane ever tell you what was wrong with his car? I didn't no, know there was well, a problem actually, with no, your yeah, car. You, t- you told me. Yeah, the, so the whole center console is just dead. So like no, you're, no lights, no nothing. Just that, dead. The Can't, hazards still go on. The hazard lights, that's the only button that works. Fucking Everything hell. else is dead. <laughs> and like the heat, I guess it just does it on max. So the heat is just crank that full blast <laughs> on the windshield. <laughs> so I was like, Drew, I want you to experience this. So I picked them up. And like halfway here, we're like, it was getting kind of hot in here. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, it's fine now. But when, when you get close to Christians, it'll be a sauna. And it's just it's like, man, sauna. It's, it's actually getting pretty hot in here. And my seat warmer's just stuck on cranked. Oh, God. So it's, luckily, I only have to go like a minute every day. Holy smokes. Did you just break your new phone? It's the new phone. <laughs> Dude, I told you to get a case on it. Moment of uh, truth. We're golden. Oh, show, show the camera so everyone knows. Show the camera. It's good. It's good. He has, oh, that's he, has great. A, he has an 11 Pro and doesn't have a, a case on it. Why like, am I put one on now? That's a, that's <laughs> a wild shit. move, man. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, there's a chip on the top right. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. Other Fuck side. You, man. Other side. Or maybe that's just the glare. No, it's like the glare. It's just, it's just, it just, it just falls shit. apart. Dude, I, I felt like I felt Drew's heart just stop. You know what I mean? Like I thought it was my here. phone for a sec, but seeing his, if I feel great. I thought it was like a piece of like one of the mics, and I saw like everything was up. Sorry, like, that's why we pay for Apple Care, folks. I always get the bumper cases. Like unless this falls like directly on a corner into the glass, it ain't breaking. I don't, I've, but that's I've an actual phone case. case. I need a phone case on mine because I drop mine a lot. I do you have like, any hot spots where you drop your phone a lot? Mine's like getting up and like up and down off the toilet, just uh, slides out of my pocket. Like so, mine's getting out of uh, my car because I guess since it's so low, I have to stand up, and I always wear sweatpants. I just every everything in my pocket just slides out, even my wallet, and my keys. <laughs> yeah. I think I told you guys this story, but my sister, I haven't told you. Mm. My sister once like got out of the car, and it's like it's like a rainy day. She's getting out of the car at like the at, like a, a mall complex. Which and mall, she, man? No, I'm and she and she <laughs> she stands up and her phone falls out of her pocket. It bounces twice, and you know those like curb sewers. Oh. <laughs> it went in one of those, so they're like, "Oh, whatever, we'll call maintenance." Maintenance comes and like goes to open, it and they're like, "Oh, someone cemented this shut." <laughs> <laughs> so your phone's gone forever. Your phone is gone. Forever. But how unlo- She just stands up out of the car and it just bounces twice. It goes in that side. <laughs> There's probably some homeless dude just ripping her data right now. Just <laughs> yeah. it. That's hilarious. Uh, and the phone was like a month old. Oh, oh brutal. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think Apple Care covers that. No, that'll hurt the team. They track it down. Apple <laughs> Care is, pretty, it is. Apple yeah. Care's really stingy though. It's like you it's well, yeah. like nothing that like any damage caused by you, they you have to like press them to fix. Man, you just have to not be an idiot. Like usually they just try and pull bullshit. It's like, yeah, dude, well, I'll give you twenty bucks, just give me a new phone. And they're like, All right. If only it was that easy. Twenty bucks. No, my aunt literally, she went in because she got her screen cracked. And they're like, well, to do this, we got to like do this, do this, do this. It'll take three months. Three like, months. Can I just get like a new phone? They're like, oh, that's like 20 bucks. And oh, okay. Like, that works. Here's oh, a $20 bill. Like, what? Like, literally just be like, hey, buddy, I'll give you $20. No, just no, give it's, like, it's, it's like part of Apple Care, but they try and fix it. And she's just like, I, she, I have twenty dollars in my wallet. Like here, just give me a fucking. Imagine new phone. she walks out, just pulls a phone out of some employee's pocket. So here's your phone. Here's this, your loaner. this is mine now. Imagine uh, being rich and white and just being able to afford twenty dollars for a phone. Oh, man, she went in from, from the guy, you know. Apple, Apple Care area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just set up. For like, sorry, can we get you some tea? Maybe there's like yeah, palms, exactly. palms being waved on her. <laughs> yeah. That'd be life. Yeah, um, nice to be white. Yeah. So I can. Palm, I was gonna. Groups. Transition to my key takeaway from the Vikings game this week. Oh, yeah, okay. sports. I'll keep it. I'll keep it quick. Wait, not those... Can I quickly throw something in? Sure. From the week previous, how would you say the de- defense was for the Vikings? The defense. Yeah, that was a tactical question from this guy. It's all right. Uh, they played well, but they just got hung out to dry. I think the defense. They... The defense didn't fail them. I think the defense, like the first half of the game this week, the defense played better than they did against the Saints. Okay, because was... I had someone come in the chat. I have a bunch of Vikings fans apparently. Because and me, they were probably. saying like how uh, they were talking about how the Vikings just absolutely deserve the victory against the Saints and how they ca- like crushed them. No, was like I was like Rob's the biggest diehard fan I know, and he even said that their no, defense was, close was questionable. Yeah, and they're like no defense super was the best suspect. they've ever had all season. No, no their I defense would was pretty good this game. Yeah, but Kirk and his cousins and and, uh, <laughs> what ha- and the was, cook they couldn't get it. It was done. the offensive line was the huge glaring issue. Yeah, okay, so I have three high level takeaways. Right, from this, from this week. from this weekend. So 
The Vikings' own line is absolute shit. Mm-hmm. Kirk Cousins would be an okay quarterback if he had more than half a second to throw the ball. You know what the O line is, right? Yeah, the the, the fact that trying to protect. Yeah. Yeah. They sucked. San Fran had a good defensive line, but to be fair, San Fran, we're talking San Fran's like a, the number one defense. In the yeah, league. they're all they're they have the highest paid D line in the entire league by like probably thirty million dollars. So like you're paying least. these guys to get to the quarterback, and they got to the quarterback. Yeah. And then so they did their job. Second, Correct. wait, D line means like. The, the other, other fat guys. The fat guys chasing the quarterback. Yeah. Oh. So like, and there's still the trying the to sack them. Protecting the quarterback. Yeah. So there's an O line and a D line. Why? What? Why? Are, why the, is that reversed? Because the quarterback's on offense. O- offensive line, defensive line. I know, but he's confused because like the O line protects. The defensive line defends the quarterback by attacking. But they're called the offensive now, line. What? They're called confused. the offensive okay, line so because they're on the offensive line. Kirk and unit. his cousins are throwing the ball. Okay. The people blocking on his team in front of him are the O line. Yes, yes exactly. Because they're on because offense. they're on offense. They're it's offense. just they're position. They have like, possession and they're trying to get they a touchdown defensively. Because I, I get what you mean, but yeah, yeah. The, my whole thing is like their whole point is they're blocking people from getting yeah. to the quarterback. Yeah. So whereas, defending. Whereas like the defensive line attacks. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just like you asked, the team is split up into offense and defense and you just like that happens okay. to be better. so it's like he's trying to get the ball as far down as they can and yeah, I get the it. rest like, of the yeah, line yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay it's, yeah it's, it's dumb but <laughs> is, i get it yeah kurt's whole d-line and the vikings like o-line is just a dumpster fire swiss cheese they were sieve more holes than a sieve like gross i don't want to ask i i couldn't i was gonna throw up man i was luckily i was watching with Wait, buddies you don't know what a sieve is Civilization? No, Civ is no, like the thing you strain strain it, like the one that you put icing sugar through. It's like oh, no, it's I, called a Civ. <laughs> when you like this, I thought that was just through. like a football term. No, no, no. It's a I don't know what that is. It's mainly a hockey term, if anything. A yeah. Civ, the goalie's a Civ. Yeah. Um, one second, let me gather my thoughts. Okay, so um, just that was point one. Tenso, but. Yeah, that was point one. Point okay. two was like the entire like uh, like that all the games were just so fucking bonkers this weekend, like. The Ravens were like the number one team in the entire league. Everyone's like Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Then the <laughs> sixth, the sixth ranked team <laughs> comes in and just beats the fuck out of them in their yeah. own stadium, man. Yeah, they, were up, they were up twenty eight six at one point. That's what I was telling Christian. Christian's like, "Oh, Rob's gonna be pissed." I was like, "Rob, no, everyone's I, forgotten about the yeah, Saints." That, that game. And that, was the, and that was the last point. Like this, uh, like the weekend was so like whack that it overshadowed the Vikings loss. The Vikings yeah. loss seemed like normal. Well, and, and like the Houston's, yeah, and Houston. Well, <laughs> Houston was up but one team, twenty four nothing. Fucking hell! Who the fuck decided that name? That what? is the dumbest name I've ever heard. They're the Houston Texans. A Texan is, I guess. Okay, like, relax. You know they're from fucking Texas. You think they're crazy? They can't come up with anything better. <laughs> it just True. makes no. It's just like the what Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Hey, what do uh, the Texans. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Run out of options here. Someone took Cowboys already. Yeah. Just the Toronto Ontarians. <laughs> yeah, yeah we put it that way. It's pretty fucking. The bad. Toronto Ontarians. Yeah. That'd be a good name for like a curling team or something. Like only curling. A beer though. league. A beer league curling <laughs> team. Yeah. The Toronto Ontarians. But yeah, like. Every team that should have won lost. Actually, no, I guess it only happened in two games. KC came back. That was unreal. Pat Mahomes is probably the best Wait, quarterback. What are you saying? San Francisco should have won. San Fran should have like yeah, they should have <laughs> like, won. There was only one upset. They were the like, favorite team. I knew deep in my heart, <laughs> deep in my heart and my soul, I was like, the Vikings winning the Saints was the best that's going to happen like this season. Mm-hmm. Like I hate the Saints. I hate Sean Payton, that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> and they're just dirty. Did you ever hear about the Saints? They paying their players to injure people. No, that was a, a, wasn't that a thing in hockey for a long time? Though, like bruisers, enforcers, they like, paid to do it, but they got paid to different do it. context. Yeah. Like they, the, everyone's aware that that's what literally, they're there to literally do. the Saints in their their locker room had a list of names and with like a dollar amount attached if they got hurt. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. And there was, it was a huge scandal in two thousand nine. Yeah, when they won a Super Bowl that year too. Um, but like it came at the end of the season. This guy Greg Williams, with the coach, was literally saying like, injure this guy, injure him. It's like a huge we'll paycheck. Yeah, yeah, and then like. Some of them got injured and like they got paid and it was and it all came out and then everyone like and ever since then the Saints are just kind of sketchy like well, I yeah. don't like them I can't imagine how you would think to like sneak that under the radar yeah like, eventually oh. eventually that's gonna leak out yeah yeah, yeah. it's just absurd. especially like if, every, every single time someone gets injured someone gets paid you're like oh yeah there's like, a trail somewhere I think yeah. someone like I think but it only came out because someone I think was a whistleblower like after they got traded I forget who. Little, but like someone got traded and they're, they're but they like, hated them and okay yeah we'll top snitch. down like i think like probably stopped around the gm level but everyone knew about it 
It was coaching down. Yeah, yeah, coaching down. Like, everyone knew about it. Even, like, Drew Brees, who's, like, the poster boy of being, like, a good guy. Mm-hmm. Drew Brees in the flesh Drew right Brees. here. Even he knew about it. And, like, <laughs> he had to face the flack. I guess it's all, almost, what? Oh, it's 11 years ago now. Fuck. But mm-hmm. and You're old. Yeah. I'm getting up there. I need to walk her soon. Man. Regardless, who's going to win Who's gonna win the semis? Uh, you take your takes right now. I think, I think this is going to be a KC San Fran Super Bowl. That's if my I pick. guess. Yeah. Drew? Yeah, same. Christian? Chiefs. Just don't okay. say the Packers, please. Packers. Packers. Uh, <laughs> Rob just, like, just beats them up right here. I hate Aaron Rodgers so much, man. Like The Packers are like the division rivals to the Saints. They're or like, to, 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 the the, Vikings, to the Vikings. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, but as soon as uh, the Vikings lost... I got so many tweets from all these there, assholes. There's people, <laughs> I, I, I went to Discord. I was like, do you guys think Rob's still alive? And everyone's just like, no, man, he's gone. No, he's yeah. he, he, he died. I was about to leave for my par- or parents my buddy's place. And they were like, should we send someone home with you just to make sure you don't like, crash Dude, even, it on purpose? Even Amanda's like, can I text Rob? I'm like, yeah, fuck, go for it. <laughs> even Amanda was like, can I text him? <laughs> I was like, like, I had like a period of like an hour where the game was done and I was just kind of like sitting on my couch. Like, fuck. What did I text you? You said some stupid shit. You were like, <laughs> you can cry on my shoulder or something. I'm pretty sure I was texting Rob during the game. Yeah, I, I, I just started too. texting Drew saying, fuck. I was just like, fuck this, man. It's over. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, I, I think it was before the game was even over. I think it was when it, like they got 27 to 10. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. you'll be okay. And you said, let's fucking hope so. I don't want to cry today. <laughs> and I said, don't worry. You can come on and cry on my shoulder. Again, it was like people I haven't talked to in like months are texting me being like, I hope you're okay, man. Oh, and I'm awesome. like, dude, like I appreciate it, but like, Fuck you, man. You weren't, you, you weren't here for me at, at, my, high, at my highest highs. <laughs> I can't count on you on my lowest lows. I got to milestones, and I was just like, they were losing by four points. I just texted him, four points. <laughs> He's like, it's Jeez. over. I'm like, there's hope. I was it's like, it's getting over. over. No, no. As soon as it like, went down, it's over. Pretty uh, much, they, the Vikings had one big play in the first. It was like, that, dude, now like, this is going to be a game. 47 yard yeah. play. And then for the rest of the first half, their total offensive yards were like 41. Yeah. So one play was more than the rest of the half. <laughs> dude, by the fourth <laughs> quarter, they had f- or six first downs in the fourth quarter when you, you average about like 30 a game. Yeah. And they had 88 yards of total y- of total yards. <laughs> like they just did nothing. This and again, you average like like 300 a game. Yeah, like the average quarterback throws for 300 a game. And, they right? had and their team total. yards are about 400. <laughs> they had 88. Because their old line's so shit, man. I, I love it because... <laughs> like, I was when I was talking about it on stream and people were like, "Oh, you don't know what you're talking about." Like their defensive <laughs> line was great. Um, I talked to, or I mentioned it on Saturday and Sunday. I was just like, "So, are there any Vikings fans in here?" <laughs> no one, <laughs> no one, because <laughs> like first they're all like, "Oh, a few of them were saying like, oh, you'll see, like we're making it to the Super Bowl this year.'" They're like, "This is the I, Vikings year." I didn't think year. we'd make it out. I didn't think we would. Silent now. Yikes. Well, it's like the thing. That, the thing I get about Vikings fans is like, we lose a big game. You don't see us talking shit on Twitter. You don't see us like making a big stink. Cowboys fans, <laughs> Patriots fans, like <laughs> that's if fair. they lose a game, like you go on Twitter, all you see is like, "We them boys, blah blah blah." <laughs> back next year, fuck you guys, blah blah blah. And then it's like <laughs> Vikings fans year. just get chirped. Like the no, only team no that deserves for it. the only team that deserves to be upset after losing is New Orleans. Yeah, because the refs fuck them over every single year, three years in a row. Correct. But they deserve this is. This is how karma works for Bounty Gate. <laughs> yeah. so, and lastly, Michael Thomas, the receiver, <laughs> he's like, he's tweeting. He's like, oh, the Vikings are, dude, you're on the couch, bro. Yeah, like, the, the one receiver for New Orleans was just roasting the Vikings when they lost. Yeah. It's like sitting on his couch because he lost last week. It's like, fuck you, man. This look, makes it look terrible. Everyone's commenting like clown emojis. And I'm like, this is <laughs> awesome. So, <laughs> the only thing I'll throw in for that is that while you say at least the Vikings know how to lose, it's yeah. because they lose every year, so they're good at it. Meanwhile, when you guys win, you guys are not gracious winners. By well, any we're means. not. We're not obnoxious. You like that? What, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you uh, when they won against the Saints, you were. I saw all the retweets. It was just yeah. everything of being like, "Fuck you guys for having <laughs> Kirk and his cousins." Just like take the L, take the L. Like that's not being a gracious winner. <laughs> Shit. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I'll, you know, but like again, I'm not admit it. That's fine. I, I mean, like. Hey man, we were again. I wasn't going out of my way to like be like find a Saints fan, be like fuck you, man. I was just generally happy. What am I supposed Rob to do? Not like tweet. Roams the yes. streets for a Saints fan, just <laughs> dead. Just beats the shit out of yeah. <laughs> My ex's opa always used to say, "If you got it, use it." And if you if you got the dub, man, you gotta you gotta uh, flaunt that shit. That <laughs> yeah, wait a second. My ex is opa. <laughs> yeah, he was so Greek and like barely spoke English, and literally every time he was like, "Drew, if you got it." 
Use he it. He probably made a mean I'm like, all right, dude. Suvlaki, bro. I think he was talking he about did. his he, granddaughter. He, uh, <laughs> yeah. he got it. Use yeah. it. Oh, he would always, God. he would always like make those yellow potatoes with like the oh, lemon. Yeah. It. Oh, delicious. My, no, oh, they're like per. per- I don't know, Persian? but they're no. like no. You get to like the Yukon Golds, but like yeah. the tiniest. There's bit. some little like, Greek thing they make. Yeah, my, it's, it's, like, a, it's Greek taters. If you go to, yeah, if you go to like Jimmy any the Greek, has Jimmy place, the Greek. Yeah. Um, but my last, second recent co-op, like everyone was Greek there. So every week they had like the one guy's they wife. They the lamb in the office, <laughs> dude. Pretty much, <laughs> but his wife, lamb and baklava. Yeah. But his wife ran like a Greek cuisine. Uh, what do you call like how the I'm as blank. She was Jimmy. <laughs> I like wish. Catering, catering like, yeah, yeah, catering. So like, they had a bunch of catered food every every like, weekend. Just touch my foot. Oh, Drew's playing fo- footsie with me my as well. Foot is <laughs> on the chair. <laughs> touch my shin. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped them. <laughs> Anyways, catering. Uh, yeah, Greek catering, and it was like those potatoes, are so good, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck those chicken that the... was like made. Like, it's like boiled chicken. And the tropita. I don't know what that is. But probably that's a dessert, right? No, okay, cool. it's, a, it's, it's the like, Hispanic copita, but no spinach. So it's literally just feta and phyllo pastry. Oh, yeah. It's like a spring roll shape, right? Sort of. Well, it depends. Usually, usually, Costco, usually they're triangles. Right? Yeah. Either way, it was yeah, so Hispanic good. Copita. Dude, they're the best Tropita. potatoes I've ever Wheat. had. <laughs> best potatoes I've ever had. The Greek style potatoes. So good, man. No, you're right. They're amazing. Greek, Greek foods. Taters. Oh, oh that, remind, that reminds me of another well, question I wanted to ask. Greek's okay. just like meat and potatoes. It's like the one yeah, thing that like, I can eat because I'm a little... Picky, yeah, Greeks, biatch, Greeks, easy, and Italian your body too. Hates you. Well, yeah, but I'm also picky. And on so that like, topic, give me meat and taters. Mm-hmm. And we're good if to go. you had to survive off one like nationality of cuisine for the rest of your life, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything, what is it? Italian. I was gonna say Italian also. Because pasta, pizza, pasta, pizza, chicken. That's a lot of carbs. Though. <laughs> you're, gonna... you're just on my yeah, side. But at I this need point. that. That's all oh, I you need at this yeah. point. Yeah. Man, yeah. definitely just American. I think American. Bacon, too. eggs, ham, grilled cheese, but like, burgers. But like those just seem like Hawaiian. Like, how pizza. do you classify like eggs and bacon? That's American. Yeah, I wouldn't. What um, I would say, what like, I mean, I would like, say like I'd say burgers. Um, North American, like basically everything deep fried. Diabetes, yeah. anything that makes you fat as hell is American. Yeah. Diabetes, I mean, the, 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 like, Italians gonna do it as well. The carbs. Have you seen Italians? Italians are mostly in shape until they hit around fifty, and then yeah, their forearm hair multiplies. It's just like from fifty to like like a month after, just. <laughs> yeah so the most the most italian dude came into work the other day and he was just going off he's like you gotta find yourself a nice italian lady and i was like oh i my ex-girlfriend was italian and he's like what why did you guys break up was she crazy and i was like yep that's why like. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir and he's like that's how he's like you gotta find like, the good trade-off of cooking and not crazy and i was like it's hard to find the two jesus I do want to pull up the comments from last week, by the Man. way, just so we can. Oh, for I Drew's wonder. Punishment. I wonder who made like the the quintessential breakfast, though. Like, what what nationality eggs, it belongs to? What does that mean? Or toast? What's like, quintessential? Like the, the like, like, like shit, bare right? bones, like, oh, like a continental classic, breakfast. basic. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Like bacon, hash browns, eggs. Yeah. Like, imagine being the guy who gets to determine like eggs are only meant for breakfast. I guess those commercials that are out now, it's like, oh, you eat eggs for dinner. Oh, you can eat eggs anytime. All day breakfast is now huge though. Yeah. Like, cause I think it's just comfort food in my opinion. Like a bacon and egger with like orange juice. First comment that we need to address is the fourth on the list. No bank account update last week. Yeah, we didn't do that. I know, I felt so terrible. Um, That's because Drew wasn't here. Drew always talks finance. Hey, give me that bank account update. I will say we're looking good right now, boys. After a few paychecks and some uh, some smart financial decisions, we're up to four digits. Oh, oh shit! By six dollars. Oh, that's, so, huge, that's yeah. huge though. <laughs> that's still good. What do you mean, man? It's still four digits. Yeah, and you still we still have another pay this month. Yeah, we do, and my commission check will finally come in yeah, too. Yeah, no, your gold, dude. That's, that's huge. Be so big with all the uh, old ladies you've been scamming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's more like reverse scamming. Jesus. I help them out of getting scammed, and they just say, "Oh, I got, I got to help this guy somehow." Did I tell you about that five dollars I found on the ground earlier? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, right. man, it was um, nice. I checked my bank account the other day, and it was like, I forgot I got paid. It's like Thursday. It's like overnight Thursday to Friday. I woke up, had an alert from TD saying like, "Oh, like money has been deposited in your account. Go look four digits." <laughs> Could you imagine that? You know, I'm like suspicious activity. You have money coming in. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this the right guy? Yikes! Dude, I literally just looked at my phone. Oh. And I was like. Bro, I'm fucking rich. I wanted to go and buy some shit right away, but I was like, oh, it's not the smartest Smart. idea. Smart. I like so, it. So, uh, for my favorite comment from last week was the one that Shane, you had mentioned to me as well, where from 
Kumal Hosseini. Okay, don't come on. Where he said, at, least like try. at least try, man. <laughs> um, he said, I think Annie doesn't exist. Like, seriously, does Varsity look like that type of guy to get a girlfriend? <laughs> Shake my head. <laughs> All right, so this just means you have to bring Annie into some shape or form now into yeah. here. Oh, yeah, we were talking about it. Uh, Shane wants her to be on the 50th podcast. Yeah. The 50th? Yeah, because yeah. then we'll blur her out. And then we'll have a voice changer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll just All have, sponsored we'll have by Drew someone. sit in the chair, but Annie will have the mic off camera. And every time she talks, Drew just I'll just have to, to yeah. lip sync. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You guys have to like organize a script together so that you're not going like like making your mouth move. Nah, man, I speaking. got this. I'll do it on the fly. Are you going to ad lib it? I'll do it on the Marty McFly. <laughs> but anyway, right. my favorite comment was literally, I had to scroll deep for this, but I found it. It's right. got one thumbs up and it's my own thumbs up. <laughs> it's Gangor one one one. Nothing I love seeing more than these fancy boys using these coasters. This table's gonna last forever. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I'm just scrolling through comments. It fucking killed <laughs> this table's gonna. Last. <laughs> this table's gonna outlast us all, boys. That's fucking good. Oh. <laughs> you love shit like that, man. I love. Fuck I love shit like yeah. that. And then we had the other one that you mentioned. Um, <laughs> Drew's punishment should be either skinned alive or maybe a little less harsh option would be to talk about how much he appreciates everyone at the table for one to five minutes. This guy's out here like just a little less a harsh. Little harsh, less harsh. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, for Drew, that's... that's we can same. skin this guy or, you know, maybe just appreciate your <laughs> Or throw him a bone. And... Yeah. Yeah. That's some Game of Thrones shit. Yeah. Literally. Oh, I will say that uh, last week's podcast is the i think most viewed podcast or second most viewed Ooh, podcast how much time? upwards trend by eight views hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, but it's because i posted a photo of the setup on the main channel and said hey guys just to know we finally have video up on the podcast and i linked the channel after and so uh, big smart people coming in and hopefully that'll carry over but the podcast is still growing i think we get on average like 800 new subs a month how many subs are we at uh, 8,500. Boys. Have, have you checked Spotify yet? Uh, I haven't looked at that in a while, but ever since we got video, I think Spotify numbers have been down a bit because people prefer to watch the video. Prefer to watch it, yeah. Cool. We shot ourselves in the foot. But that also means views on the video went up. Mm-hmm. By like, I think after we put up the first video one on Christmas, that one went up by like 1,000 views. We'll take it. So. One, Hello. zero, zero, zero. The same amount of money bank in my bank they, account. They, yeah. Did we ever, uh, did we ever figure lining. out if there was any people who just like a dollar didn't per find buy. the podcast from your channel? What do you mean? What? Why, what well, the why fuck? Because Rob? Rob has a story know. from last week, but I don't want him to say all of it because it's a little weird. And you said that someone found you through the podcast, oh. but they didn't know the channel beforehand. Yeah. They found the podcast on Spotify. So I made, nice. I made two friends the, the past week. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're both from down under. Actually, Dan Under. Yeah, they're, they're alive. Is one of I them named so. Jasper? I would say they're Drew's friend from uh, yeah. BC, Australia. That only oh, visits yeah. once. Is, is one of them Jasper? Kangaroo no. Jack. Uh, shout out Jasper. They're both female. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, um, but oh, they're I think they're both like young. So 12? it's like you know, I'm, I'm more of like a, a mentor yeah, role. Drew, you want yeah. to finish that thought? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> but what it was it was nice. One of them was like. Hey man, like just send me a brick of a Snapchat message one day, but it was nice to read. They were like, <laughs> a brick of a message. <laughs> "How are they finding your Snapchat?" It's on, a, on my Instagram bio, which you post on your oh, latest video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Um, he, he messaged me. He's just like, "I got 800 follow requests." I got or 800 follow requests in one day because of that video. Like, what? And, and I was like, "Oh yeah, the video went up today." It's just like it has. Rob's so now my ad. total follow requests are like 2,600. Just start. Yo, just going, yeah, you gotta accept it. You gotta capitalize on that. Yeah, but like, if I do, then like, who knows? What's start gonna start, that, start putting up. Man, I got, I got all mine there. They just, they leave some weird comments every once in a while, but that's it. Drew's are so funny. It's like a picture of him and Bree, and it's like, it's like aunt messaging, is like his parents, and then this guy like, Drew, you're a sexy boy. <laughs> Literally though. No, no. like, look at that thick trunk of a man. <laughs> yeah. One time someone left like a really, really, really racist comment on one of my pictures. Just yeah, well, randomly. Then you just turn comments off. And but then, I, then my friends can't comment. And then I'm like, can't yeah, you yeah. just delete comments or no? You can. That's what yeah, I did. Can, and then, yeah. I, then I was Man, like, I deleted this, and that's on the. I'm like, okay, this is too risk risky. I had one like. picture where some guy would comment, and I would delete it, and he'd keep commenting, and I would keep <laughs> deleting it. So I finally turned comments off, and then I got like three messages from my friends, like, dude, why are you turning your comments, comments off? off? Yeah. I'm like, man, it's just get a weirdo. It's a long story. To. Jeez. Um, what was it talking about? Oh, that it. person. <laughs> yeah, the person from Australia. Pulled a Drew down under. Um, yeah, they were like, Hey, like, uh, stumbled across the podcast like last week. 
just want to let you know like you guys are so funny blah 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 i had like a really t- i was having a really tough time i discovered the podcast i've listened to every episode since and i feel so much better blah 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 so there that's a nice little pat on the back for all of us shout out that person shout out to that person and mm-hmm. then jasper jasper probably and then another person was just like i could actually talked to them for like a, a couple of days they were just like oh like you guys talk so much about like uh the work and this and that blah 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 so, and like Turns out they're in a similar situation to I am, where like they're kind of homeless, borderline, <laughs> borderline homeless, trying Hungry. to like trying to wrangle money together. I, like, I really like the bank account update because it makes me feel better about that's my what financial. Someone yeah. always says that. Oh Jeez. fuck! You gotta blur out the bank account update this week. Yeah, bro. fucking poor ass peasants, bro. <laughs> I can't associate with you guys anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, He's yeah, in the four digit club now. Yeah, four digit club. Get the- <laughs> Huge. If Rob's not a part of that social class anymore. From now that's on, when you message me, you have to put how much money you have in your account. No, no, I'll decide if I want to answer or not. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched uh, Silicon Valley? Yeah, no. I have seen like I mean, not not all of it. But I pretty I've much seen I pretty much have because you've talked about it like a thousand the, the times. Tr- but the Tres Comas Club. <laughs> yeah, the Tres Comas. Yeah, uh, Rob's now in the one comma. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I'll start my own club. Uno comma. I want to put a comma there. I'll just put like four numbers, then like a, like a period, then like the last two numbers for the sense after. A period. This guy literally like got <laughs> a comma. Period. Three, this guy got three commas framed and to put on his wall. He's like the Trace Comas Club is like you have a billion dollars. I would do that. I'd yeah, be a million. Like, and a billion. When he first got no, introduced, it'd be a commas. Million. Yeah, three would be a billion. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah. One comma zero 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 <laughs> comma zero 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 is a million. Okay, we're good. <laughs> in the uh, show, like he comes into the show at the beginning, he's like a billionaire, has a Lamborghini with the doors that go up. McLaren. Like, McLaren, whatever. What a cocksucker. Same thing. And then after, like, when he gets under a billion, he has to get, like, another car and it has just the normal like, doors that come out and he, like, <laughs> opens. He's like, You see this shit? He's like, this shit? <laughs> His full. He's like, My door should go like this. <laughs> not like this. And by the way, the normal car, I'm pretty sure, is like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, What the uh, fuck? Yikes. This bullshit goes this way. Oh, speaking of cars, did you know that Teslas can, like, talk to people now? You can like speak mm. to it. I read yeah, a, or I, I didn't watch the video. I when he sat in his car this morning. <laughs> like, I saw the video with the I'll speak to random people and be like, hey, and I'll say hi back and shit. Hi, Christian. So, like, put on some weight. <laughs> so can your Teslas talk to each other? I don't know. Can they date and they like, hook up? That's hot. Get them to make me my own Tesla. Oh, great. Oh. Idea. Uh, we can start a Tesla brothel. He's a man of the people. <laughs> <laughs> a Tesla brothel. I'm oh. so down for this. Yeah. What, what happens if like a Model S? Like my, what if my S and three? my three get together? You get a Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> you get a hatchback Mazda. Yeah. You, you get, get Shane's Ford. car with the broken. <laughs> yes, yeah, you get a Ford hybrid. Like <laughs> you get a, a Prius. <laughs> That's <laughs> how they're made. But you get an EcoBoost Ford yeah, hatchback. If you leave the three long enough, does it become an S? What? Does it grow up? <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe. That's a good question. You just gotta add like a lot of value to it. It grows up based on like. Cash get some, value. get some like rims put on it and a mm-hmm. speaker system. I uh, and a working dash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reminds, before I bought my three, I inquired at Tesla, being like, "Hey, can I?" I get... inquired. With I, my inquired. I didn't ask. I inquired. Get it right, yeah. man. <laughs> I asked. And I was just like, "Say something hey. more, more white." <laughs> <laughs> can you guys give me like a value estimate on my car? Can you consolidate it a value estimate. <laughs> I want to see if I could trade it in and get like a Model S, but long range and like the P one hundred D version. Whatever that means. Mm-hmm. It's the, like it goes to zero to hundred in like two point four seconds, or two point nine. Whatever um, that means. No, I'm kidding. I understand. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I asked them about that. And they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll get it sent out to you right away. Like expect it by tomorrow." And they never sent me anything. So I'm like, "One year later, does my car is you my car not worth up, anything?" Man. They didn't want to uh, yeah. tell me. Did you probably they're probably this guy's car is a piece of shit. Well, it didn't, when you first got it, it wasn't like a brick for like a, like a couple weeks. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So day one, the screen broke. Mm-hmm. Oh, which gosh. was fine like it didn't actually affect me it just looked weird and mentally it affected it looked me. real it was weird, really though. mentally mentally totally. it hurt a lot yeah. yes especially yeah. with having shane yeah we didn't in the car roasting me the entire time <laughs> like one of my favorite moments ever just sitting all talking behind the car and the guy sits down in the car he's like i've never seen this before <laughs> and we're, actually, we're just dying like, behind the car the, the first thing he said was oh fuck yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Christian, never seen christian's this like pumping up his own tires the whole way to get it serviced where he's like, like be you know like this probably happens all the time. Like, <laughs> this is not that bad. You, you get out of the car so the guy can sit in. He's just like, oh, fuck. I've never seen this before. They're the first words out of his mouth. You're probably yeah. just like, fuck this. And then, so when I actually got it fixed, they told me, apparently I'm like the second person to ever have that happen. In the whole world? Yeah. yeah. And then they he felt, like, right, at, at least the what they told me. Yeah. And then he felt special again, so it didn't matter. Yeah. And then after that, in um, your own way. So I didn't have my car, uh, like, charger thing 
installed right away. I was like, oh, how long could it Rookie take? Move. It's like a one day thing. Yeah. Didn't Rookie. realize that the book like a month ahead of schedule and then <laughs> it would take them like two whole days to install it. So then I finally got it installed. This guy's but, charging it with a USB port. Until well, <laughs> I, I had to, the, in the meantime, I had to charge it by plugging their adapter into the wall outlet. And that takes like 48 hours to charge. <laughs> this has like a stack so, of USB. He just sticks it to his car somewhere. So like, I was like, at the bare minimum, I'm getting like daily charge somewhat overnight, like getting 60 kilometers so I can do whatever I need to do. Yep. And then apparently leaving it plugged in for that long, like kills the 12 volt battery on it. Oh, so geez, then when man. they finally came to install my charger, I got in the car reversed and then like my screen wasn't turning on my dashboard wasn't turning on. I was like, Oh, it's probably just like bugging out. Cause sometimes that happens. You just the software yeah, yeah, reboot yeah. it. Mm-hmm. So then I get out of the car and when I go back to try to move the car back in after they install it, it won't even unlock. And I'm just sitting there like, What's what happening? a fucking <laughs> shit show. And then um, I they had to call Tesla. They call tow service. And then this moment will always stick oh, with me. Oh, you were just dragging you along the ground. Right? So, the, yeah. Okay. Two moments always stick with me with <laughs> that. <laughs> was, yeah, when they pulled it and all you could hear is just the, uh, as it's grinding because it's it's uh, dead. Yeah. Um, and all you could hear was just the gears grind or the rods grinding It's or just regenerative and then breaking. After that, <laughs> the worst part was while I'm watching it get pulled up and it's making that noise, a guy slows down rolls by, rolls down his window and goes, ha ha, and then drives away. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He's probably driving Roasted. some beat up old gas like or two. like the full Nelson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it sounded just like it. And I was like, Jesus. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. That guy's a legend for that. <laughs> and then they gave me some shitty Jeep Wrangler. I don't like Jeeps. You imagine this guy driving a Jeep Wrangler? I, th- I think no, the I most can't. hilarious part is like, we're fixing your electric vehicle here's a gas guzzling jeep wrangler yeah, <laughs> well, so, so they have teslas <laughs> as loaners but um they only qualify. ever have like four or five so if there's a bunch of people in there you're never going to get one and then they just rent out from enterprise being like there you go mm-hmm. enterprise they, is a good enterprise company, we'll pick you okay. up they blessed me hard i do you remember my motorcycle accident mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or my car motorcycle yeah. accident they gave me a Actually, should I give a brief synopsis of my motorcycle accident no, just for fun? You already yeah. mentioned it yeah, before. You yeah, you oh. said the story. Um, but yeah, they gave me a nice uh, Volkswagen Passat, I want to say. It was beautiful. It made me want to buy a Volkswagen that very day. They're actually pretty nice. They're, They're like very the nice. I just remember levels. messaging you like a week after being like, you being like, dude, I hope they take their time with this. I don't want my car <laughs> back. Like, I literally went from like the worst day ever to the best day ever. Yeah. Because like my insurance, man, I'm with uh, Shameless Plug for Bel Air Insurance. You should sponsor us. <laughs> um, they like fucking top to bottom, like handle everything for me. Like I got up, blah, blah, blah. Shit happened. I called my insurance person and they were like, they, I could hear it in their voice. They were on a mission to make my day the best it could be, man. They were like, just go back to bed, man. Like, I'll call, make some calls for you. Just like, if your phone rings, pick it up. Two phone calls later, one's just to get, get like the people, people come pick it up. Next one's, ba- he calls you back. Say, hey, <clears throat> it's like, I can, I, you can have a, Vol- a new Volkswagen Passat or like a van. And I'm like, give me the Passat. He's like, it's yours, buddy. That's what he says. <laughs> You're a real one. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, then I had like an Uber drive me to an enterprise. And then like um, everything was paid for. I, I would hope so. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind <laughs> no, of the point like, of no, insurance. Like, I was telling my Jeez. parents, and they were like, usually you have to pay for the tow or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, fair. So, and the tow would have been like 200 bucks. Didn't have to pay for that. I feel like your situation is a little more unique, though, in the sense that oh, it wasn't for like sure. you driving. Like, it was literally someone yeah. else. Someone smacked yeah. fucking yeah. smashed It's car. literally Someone stole a motorcycle and hit my car with it. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, if you're in a car accident, they'll be like, oh, we yeah. have to make sure you're yeah, it's not like, And you still kind of, like, usually yeah. there's at least, like, a 1% fault somewhere. And, like, another thing I was just thinking about is, like, insurance companies probably make so much money because they, they charge you for something that you think you need like everyone in the entire well, you, you world is paying you, for it you legally need it I, well yeah you legally need stupid, it and then the, but then like there's only one person every like 500 who actually cashes out it's their insurance it's kind of stupid but like if you get in a car accident and someone gets seriously hurt and it's your fault like you're bankrupt for the rest of your life yeah, yeah. well yeah but like that's that could be something that you should be able to make that choice in that sense. I well, would like, say. I can't choose to get T-boned by a fucking <laughs> truck. You know what I mean? Like, I and, can't and, choose uh, to get T-boned no, and I mean, then the person T-boning me not pay for anything. Yeah. Well, what you can do in it's those just situations like, is like, obviously like it gets pretty hairy, but you can garnish wages. So they oh, literally... Sweet. Yeah, so but that's may, like, I'm garnishing zero dollars. That's like... Uh, well, how, many people do you know who, how many homeless people do you know that are driving <laughs> around? Trying, he hit me with the shopping cart. Oh, no, that's no. rude. Uh, Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, that, that, oh, no. It's like, I got a story. 
No, no, no. That Enterprise tagline, for some reason, just always reminds me of Halo 3. What's we'll pick you up. On? Like, the Enterprise, we'll pick you up. I'm pretty sure they've changed it now. But no, like, I saw that. Is it? It's Marty Broder <laughs> just giving her every <laughs> But, like, uh, we always used to go around on Valhalla. <laughs> And I'd play like we'd play duos with my buddies when they came to sleep over. Mm-hmm. And then for some reason, I was always just ripping around the whole map in a warthog. <laughs> just trying. And then like, and they would just be killing people. And I'd just roll up in front of them and be like, Enterprise, we'll pick you up. <laughs> and they'd just like hop in the back of my warthog and I'd keep going. Should have watched it about Forza, Drew. There's yeah. a warthog in Forza, actually. Really? Yeah. So there's fun. a warthog in real life soon. Cybertruck. Oh, uh, I was wondering. I was like, really? They're making a warthog? It does kind of look like a warthog. Green. Pumba. Actually, I think so. I thought they were just like get one. they only came in. Do they come with a ghost steel? cannon on top of it? Um, I think that's or a missile separate. launcher. Dude, those were the best. They're OP. the ones with the cannons. Shot yeah. blue. Yeah, it's starting getting a little ridiculous though. Towards the end, it's just like okay, this one has a ghost turret. This one has a nuclear launcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take yeah. the nuclear launcher. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'll I played during next. the nuclear launcher. Mm-hmm. But they just like they kept making them there, more, there, more there, powerful. There never oh. was a nuclear launcher. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure gotcha. there never that's... was a fucking nuclear launcher. Don't they have hug. one that's like a Goss minigun? No, there was a there was yeah, like yeah. A, there was one that had like two sets of like missile stacks, and then there was one that had a ghost, and there was a chain gun. That's all I can remember. I swear they added one that was chain like gun. Goss mini, but maybe that was like a campaign thing. Maybe there's a lot of OPS shit in the campaign. Man, yeah. but it's I, all I remember is like if you got in a banshee, you were just fucking people's oh, yeah. days up. You could run them over, you could hit them with that big green bullet. Yeah. Ending good lives. times, man. We, yeah. need, we need to play on PC. I I'm bought bad. it. I still haven't even played it yet. Well, isn't I'm it, waiting, it waiting for my copy? Just Reach right now. Yeah, yeah um, I'm not buying it till. I'm like well, Halo Three supposed to come out, or no? I think it's Halo One is next, then two, then, two, then three. three. Three comes out in I think July one in February and then two somewhere in between. Regardless, I've, bullshit. I have played so much Halo in my life. I don't even know if I would play the new one. I want to play it, and if like if I stream it, I can buy you guys copies because then it's a business expense. Okay. Hashtag Rob's business. like. You know what? Okay. I was like, you know, I might take I back what I just said. Yeah, yeah. Rob's like, I was a big fan, and I think I still am a it's big like, fan. <laughs> when I said I was tired of playing, I meant, uh, you know, yeah. I was talking when about When I said I wouldn't play it on PC, I meant I would play it on PC. <laughs> yeah, I just, it was a simple, it's Occam's razor, you know? You just go to the same numbers, whatever you say. How do you say it? Occam's? Occam? Occam? You know what that is? Occam's razor. It's a Freudian slip. It's one that a Freudian, oh, a Freudian slip. Speaking of that. Wait, is that when you say something like in your mind, but you don't mean to say it out loud? Yeah. yeah. I do, or I, no, well, it's like when you say something, but you accidentally say it sexually. So like, let's say I'm going to yeah. be like, Shane, oh. that's a very nice penis pair of pants. There. And I'll be like, oh, that's a very nice pair of penis you have there. Like, I thought it was when you just do something, like, when you just say something that's on your mind and it comes up by accident. No, that's called ADD. <laughs> Hold on, I'm now looking. In that case, I have ADD. Slash making sure my phone's Because I'll be like doing stuff at work, like doing stuff on a computer, and the cast was right there. I'll do something wrong. I was like, fuck. Did you just hear like, this man? He dropped his phone like 40 minutes ago, and he's still panicked that yeah. it doesn't work. That's all that. <laughs> okay. A he, Freud- he needs a case. A Freudian slip is an unintentional error regarded as revealing subconscious feelings. So, so it doesn't necessarily it doesn't have, have to be, be sexual, sexual yeah. but you can see why it's yeah. usually sexual. But it's not just like saying something by accident. It's like, it's it like, has a deeper meaning. It's and like, you're mixing something yeah. up. It's like, it's like you're trying to shit. say something. Hey, fuck shirt up. Oh, <laughs> it's like I can't think of anything. Else <laughs> it's like, it's like, like you're trying to say something, but you're thinking of something else. So you accidentally say what you're thinking. Everything you normally say, yeah, but like, we say by mistake. Oh, uh, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> you mean I can't go up and tell a girl that she has? Actually, never mind. Nice I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> now, Rob, my name like is Milker. Walking. I mean, for real. <laughs> hi, my name's. Hi, my name's. Your boobs look so cool today. <laughs> well, that's a Freudian sleep. There, there you go. go. Uh, I'm just gonna call Freudian Rob sleep. Freud from now on. <laughs> hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Your <laughs> boobs are <laughs> humongous. <laughs> oh shit! A Freudian oh, slip. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Uh, hi, Stacy. <laughs> 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 Have you ever done that? <laughs> I feel like not to that like, extent, but yeah. Man, my 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 old roommate's pickup line is he would literally walk up to people and meet them for the first time and just be, "Wow, I've had the biggest crush on you forever." <laughs> and so, somehow, I don't know how it worked every time. I've had the biggest crush on you on forever. On guys too. I, I probably probably it worked on me. Probably oh. saw with girls, but. It would I'm work just, on me if like how does that, that work? How 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 how? I had the biggest crush on you forever. So you I think it's you don't even know who I am. Yeah. Like, I don't even live in the same country as you. He did follow rule number one though, which what? was just be attractive. And rule number yeah. two: don't, don't be, be not attractive. Yeah. Where do these rules come from? From our Tinder. What the hell is that? The Tinder subreddit. Yeah. 
there because it's always like there's a tender subreddit oh yeah, yeah oh, it's no, hilarious wrong. it's so funny I mean, my favorite <laughs> post of the year was that they were like looking at the total amount of subscribers for every subreddit and they were number 69 and so someone posted, <laughs> oh, like, we no did it way. boys and number one comment was like at least we all had sex somehow <laughs> oh. 69 but most uh, of the posts are like either one people just shitting the bed by making stupid jokes just for the fun of it or like really attractive just people doing the up. stupidest pickup lines like hey i just shit my pants can i get in yours and then it works and they're like oh it's because you're attractive those are that's a good line to be honest <laughs> i saw one that was like I just had gonna, lactose I should yeah, use it it was a I saw, it was a tinder conversation it's like it's like it's like hey send me dudes and the chick's like do you mean nudes and the guy's like no i mean men i'm, going, I'm about to enter into battle <laughs> <laughs> It worked, I guess. But it's stuff like that where it's like that works, and they're like, yeah, yeah well, they just followed the step one and two be attractive. Yeah, and you, be not you can't attractive. be like the weird, like, you're so gorgeous, big, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of kisses and emojis. They just think you're like, I mean, it's, sheltered. it's basically boils down to it doesn't matter what you say. It's if, if you're hot, you're hot. If you're not, yeah, you're not. You're fucked. Mm-hmm. You guys know how to deal with Tinder. I, I used it like for a little you guys are lucky I man i stopped using it. tinder was hot for a bit and now it's dry for me man well now it's bumble and hinge yeah i don't really use tinder i don't think anymore yeah, back in or maybe my i'm day. just not you know getting any luck on it back but in my day it was plenty I, you know, i shaved everything but the mustache hey, the other day hey. and i have a job interview tomorrow and me i'm not too. shaving it's i'm just gonna say fuck well, it bro I, actually, I hadn't shaved since you should shave last this. yeah you should clean up the sideburns but yeah keep yeah? this keep this yeah. well, i'm pretty sure bit. they're uneven so well, I, I did it pretty late. I was just like, kind of like, fuck. And by pretty, they're, they're like, Oh, they're uneven as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now that you pointed out, like, oh God. this one starts down here. This one starts way up here. <laughs> Look at the camera, so. Dude, this is bad. <laughs> I, I, know, I know I rushed it. Like I that, it was this bad. You Yikes. got, like, mutton chop on the right and then, like, normal This on was the all left. the way down here. And this one the stops up here. The other one goes up, up past your earlobe is where it starts. <laughs> so what do I do then? Do I just even this one out or shave them both to, like, here? You shave them both. Well, well, not, no, I feel like t- don't having, go like way up to your temple. Yeah, you, can't but. Take off, you can't take off side. <laughs> yeah, I go like to right, right in the middle, like whatever really? this thing is. I, I always I clean mine up every yeah, Whatever this off. fucking piece of your whatever ear is this called. thing of my ear is right here. I try to go right. Oh, that's side. your uh, weenus. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. No, the, oh, it's not. Jesus, Drew. <laughs> Come on, <It's> rough. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's you. Pull the fast one. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, I, I usually go around here. Ears. I'm trying to think, man. About what? Like, how the fuck did I butcher this <laughs> job so badly? I can feel it, like, all the way down here. It's, like, low-key oh, been gosh. bothering me. Like, the other one looks fine. It's just, like, it's this been bothering gross. me how low that this one is. is. Like, this is, like, facial pubic hair. It's, like, probably, like, you it's like it an Amish button chop. I can, like, tuck it, yeah. But I still gotta shave it. Like, fuck, man. Do you guys remember back in, uh, like, when we were kids? Like Do you guys ever watch the show too. Radio Free Roscoe? Yeah. Remember, like, remember that guy that had the massive sideburns in that? I have to pull up a picture. I've honestly had, never seen it. Um, like that that name rings a huge bell, but I can't picture I've it. I've honestly never seen I don't remember or recall ever hearing that name. My next license picture, I'm gonna try something like that, whether it be a mustache or because I always try to get just nasty pictures for my like ID. <laughs> I'm gonna try something like that. Like, Pretty sure in my driver's license right now, I just look like an army brat. Mine are the an best. Army brat. My one is yeah. just like my hair is oh. literally standing straight up so you can't see. And the other one is like I look like I have a like my whole head combed like really? it's just like hair is the same size as my beard but it's all like one piece oh Jeez. gosh i had like the closest shave on the side and it's when i worked out a lot so i just literally just look like the biggest twat skinhead <laughs> also i was twat. wrong so it's not even like massive but i guess back then they were considered pretty big the guy on the top right has like longer sideburns than the guy on the top left i remember there was just a whole episode we were talking about oh, his i've never seen that show before man really that was like a really popular family channel show i never had i was a ytv yeah. kid i didn't have family channel. i was a both man you get a bad Same. show on uh i wish that's so raven comes on pan over to freaking ytv i, I was stuck on ytv episodes. man all the ytv was like Corey in the house. cartoons Corey so in the house was sick i swear yeah. family was all the live action ones and yeah. ytv was like spongebob teen titans i don't know power rangers was on ytv teen titans, teen titans was cartoon good. network yeah I fuck with it. That was but like the Power kind of died, Girls. Only the sketchy kids watch Cartoon Network. To be Cartoon honest. Network. All I watched was uh, what's the one with all the kids in the treehouse? Uh, like, Code name kid next door. door. Yeah. Right? Code name kid next door. That's yeah. great. That's spy next door. Um, same thing. Did you guys ever watch? Sketch, or did you guys know that they have cartoons. Cartoon Network like after dark? After dark. And yeah. it's adult. See, Robot Chicken. Yeah. Robot Chicken. Bojack Horseman and Powerpuff Girls. 
like after dark adult humor like hentai uh, style <laughs> like for real no there was there was an episode where <laughs> how the fucking powerpuff girls be after dark <laughs> the powerpuff girls learned how to swear they're like, so they, they, like they, they say shit it. no they censored it so like but they would be like just swearing 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 and then the like professor guy was like what are you guys doing you can't say that and then they would fly around the city just swearing and all the <laughs> People of whatever Whoseville place were like, what are they doing? Who'sville? They're That's corrupt amazing. now. The and Grinch it, pulls up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, they had no, I adult versions of those shows. Man, that's kind of sick. I, I like my new favorite thing with Disney Plus is just going back and watching all the shows that I used to. Like, Brie and I just watch Boy Meets World all the time. I would do that uh, if I had it. I, mean, I want to watch Does Boy Disney Meets World. Pro- the, will it have um, Phineas and Ferb? Yeah, it has Phineas and Literally Ferb. Literally watch every one of those episodes. They're all great. Man, I used to watch Phineas and Ferb every morning because it was the only show that my parents could handle. So I'd like it wake was, up and eat breakfast great. and they'd sit there and watch it with is me. Is South Park yeah. on Disney Plus or is it owned by someone Probably else? Probably not. No, that's that on... Uh, oh, fuck, what's that show? I lost, I lost Christian's Wi-Fi password, so I can't check right now. Oh, gosh. Thank God. Don't just throw on your data, bro. What? Throw on that data. He can't. He Disney broke Plus, it man. He dropped his phone. Oh, yeah, oh, data's right. done. No, don't do it. We'll lose him. <laughs> I, need to no, I got that 10 gig life now. I was going to say, I got that 10 gig, bro. I need to get Disney Plus now. now. I've already used I want like the National two. Geographic. Disney Plus is yes. sick. Yeah, it's like free solo is on Disney Plus. Really? There's so much Star Wars <laughs> shit, man, that all Shane's, the Clone Wars is I on I told Amanda too. we need to watch it because she had no idea what it was. Yeah, I still have to watch it too. <clears throat> I saw a meme of like an old person flying down like a dusty hill on the bottom site like free solo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was at first. That was a Han Solo <laughs> meme, so I had to look it up. But, uh, no, Free Solo is like the dude that climbed up El Capitan by with like nothing. Capitan is that a different story than the guy who cuts what? his own arm off yeah. after being stuck under a yeah, boulder? It's 127 the dude hours. Just, like, what is it's like three thousand feet, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He like it's so it's it's like a sheer granite wall. That he, he climbs just it. Three thousand feet. It. He free climbs, climbs it. No nothing. harness, nothing. Like he literally, it's like you going right now and climbing it. Okay, well, no. I, no, he I, mean, he, I mean, he's he, got he, chalk and training, blah, blah, blah. I he, mean, like... He, no, like, he trained for, like, like two years, mentally yeah, yeah, prepared yeah. for, like, four before that, like... So is the video about this this actual guy doing it? Yeah, or is it's it, a documentary or is it dramatic about him climbing. No, it's recreation. him, actually. Oh. You gotta also remember, like, a lot of preparation to the point where he's, like, climbing it with a harness and everything, preparing until well, he, he can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, so, I meant, so like... His prep, some of his prep work was literally going... Leave the fun in it, Christian. This is for fun. No, I meant the point is... just, like, you going. The free climbing aspect is Rob with chalk so his oh, okay, his okay. prep for it was literally he'd climb it like every day kind of thing and he'd go up and him and his friend would go up and go as like they they slowly did the whole wall and they'd pick off every pebble from each hold and put it in their little pouch climb down go up get more pebbles so that every single hold was perfectly clean and like the, oh, the prep was insane shit. but this took them years to do all that and like halfway through it he decides to go on a route that he'd never climbed before because he's nuts but uh, this guy's just, he's just probably trying to kill himself in a very elaborate way. He's pro- he's just one of the best climbers ever. But this guy just like casually climbs brick buildings. Like you know how brick buildings on the corners they have like yeah, a little like niche. Yeah, like those in, little like whatever you call it, easy. Yeah. yeah, inch things. Like he literally just clambers up those for fun. That's fucked. Would you guys like after rock climbing for this long? Would you guys do outdoor rock climbing or yeah? I'd try it. Yeah. I don't think I would. Outdoor bouldering. Like, and the safe only reason I say the only reason I say I would is because like I know there's a lot of it like in the in the Tobermory National Park. It's like four <clears> hours away. It would be a sweet like weekend trip. That would be fun. Because like it would be something that we could all do. We could all enjoy. There's beaches, there's everything. Everyone have a good time. I got lost in Tobermory. Like, you don't that. you don't have to do that. The yeah, sorry, teams. sorry, PTSD. PTSD, but, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. I was on I was on CNN. Remember that? Weren't you? Oh yeah. yeah. I, I, have we told that story on the pod before? I, I swear I don't we think have. we have. I've told that story by a thousand really times. I really know what you're talking there. about, so probably not. No, they got they got you, lost. You've mentioned we've talked about it a lot on stream. I don't think we've yeah. ever. Yeah. It was on the CNN. Podcast. You're you're about to get pinned down. I was on CNN. Pinpoint. They're gonna know exactly. I was where pinned down by a bunch of like people trying to kill me, bro. In Tobermory, the natives were. But, the um, natives. But there's tons of Rob climbing. didn't pay for the cigarettes. <laughs> no. Do you want to tell that story? It's like a long one. Like, what time is it? It's not. I can say in like two minutes. All okay. right. Do the two minute version. Um, no, well, no. you weren't even there. So but I heard his story like six different so times. So we have a long so context. We were on a camping trip with our high school. Um, and like, we were trying to go from like, point A to point B. And Should have made a right, made a left. Basically. So, but <laughs> there was a lot of like, like staff, like human error. Our, like our, our coaches, <laughs> coaches, professors, teachers, what am I fucking trying to say here? They were like, we were, they were like, there was one teacher for like 20 kids, right? And like, that was supposed to be the way and everyone follows. Um, 
and then like so we got to like halfway through and this one guy in our group a good friend of your all of ours actually um he like was like couldn't like something happened i don't know if he got hurt or just needed more help or something so he needed like he pulled another teacher behind from our group our group of 20 and then our group of 20 was supposed to just kill our the guy who, go, who was going back to help the other guys like okay you guys know where you're going just follow the white dots in the trees and you'll get there and then he goes back to help the other kid so then we get to a point where there's there's a two it's literally right out of a fucking comic book man <laughs> there's two direct paths each have white dots going all the way down and then this one girl in our group who's like a bit of a like a like i'm my way of the highway type she's like it's this way for sure and i was like a few of us like i don't know like that way is like it says campground we're supposed to go to a campground and then we've been walking for two hours so we figured this is where this is our exit no we don't go that way are you guys dumb <clears throat> so then we're like okay well might as well follow her just so none of us have to deal with this headache which was the dumb part yeah mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then so we're walking it's been an hour it's been two hours it's been three hours starting to get pitched black outside and then somehow like everyone gets split up even farther within this own group. It's me and two other guys, and we have no fucking clue where we are. I'm going like like trying to get, I'm trying screaming, trying to get some people where we are. I scream all I hear is I'm like, hey, all I hear is like, it's like twenty seconds later, Rob, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and it was our buddy Adam, and then we literally just follow his voice, end up at this little like cabin, and we're like, there's probably like thirty five of us just sitting outside of this cabin in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. It's like probably one a.m pitch black in the middle of a forest and then we're like okay we gotta do something so one guy like levers the window open of the cabin with like a, a tree branch or something i don't know how he did it props to that guy there's like 20 of us piling this cabin <laughs> start making food and shit and, and then like we made hot it was a pretty good time actually it was just like we had hot dogs mr noodles pop tarts like all that good camping snacks you know what i mean so we're just gorging ourselves Wait, did I'm, you take that from the cabin no it was all it was oh, all, okay. all we took from the cabin was some uh because it was a pot that we used and put some water in it. Yeah. Hopefully he's just... The guy actually, uh, he reached out to whatever um, and was just like, uh, yeah, like blah, blah, blah. Like this happened. So jokes. Then he ended up donating to the school or something. Donated the outdoor equipment. Um, and then, uh, so I was content, man. I was full. I was warm. I was just chilling. And I was, I was like, okay, we can crash here for the night. Perfect. And then like right as I'm about to fall asleep, the fucking door gets kicked open, literally kicked open, like siege style, but like a bunch of like six, five RCMP officers. Uh-huh. And they were just like, Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Are you guys lost students? Blah, blah, blah. We we're like, yeah. And then they were like, okay, we walk out. There's like a whole <laughs> oh, fucking okay. like, Bye. cool. Cause they, 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 they thought we were just <laughs> random kids trespassing. Right. Uh-oh. So then they were like, wait, are you guys the students who were lost? Blah, blah, blah. We were part of a search party, but we came in here cause we heard a bunch of noise. It's like, how do you not put two and two together, man? <laughs> um, they keep the party down yeah. in here. We're trying, we're trying to find a bunch. It's like, hey, you 20 kids over there. Keep it down. We're trying to find 20 lost kids in the forest. Uh, but then, like, we all get out, and then our, t- like, our teachers show up, and they're just, like, so relieved. And one of them's crying. I was like, oh, man. I like how this moment. story was from, like, 35 students lost to 20. They <laughs> yeah. lost 15. They graduated, the yeah, they graduated got eight and by, like, a, by a Wendigo or man, something in the forest. <laughs> he left out all that. <laughs> Yikes. Rob, your sideburns. I know. <laughs> fuck off, I man. I'm, like, overthinking about it now. It's like, all I can think about is my fucking sideburns. This whole story, I just see, like, I know, man. And that's how I feel. I literally feel that, like this side's heavier. <laughs> Anyways. I will say, in all of these times I've heard this story, because I heard it the day after it happened, and I've heard it probably every year since. Yeah. This story gets way and way more like you were happy. Well, like... When it, when it first happened, I remember everyone everyone talking about how it was like an awful experience how they were like i was terrified for my life <laughs> and someone like, mentioned that there was like a helicopter that no. flew above and Pe- that everyone had made signs being like help or sos out of like tarps <laughs> it was it was really cool like help. Or, it, was, then, <laughs> it was funny like, going back to school the next like, few days and just hearing all the everyone else tell their own version of the story yeah and i'm like why are you doing this you know what i mean like like this People are telling the story about how like we they were like running through the woods at like and I killed black. a lion with my and bare they were hands. saying like they had to climb trees and shit. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I saw you were on your ass the whole time, not doing anything. But yeah, um, yeah. And I banged like ten girls that night. <laughs> in the cabin. I made a million dollars off Bitcoin. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then like, so I got home. My parents were like shitty brick. They were like, my dad, my dad was like. Oh, you're back. You made CNN, and I was like, "No way!" And then I checked, and like that, they like PBR the CNN thing, and it was like local students like from this high school went went missing. Uh, I imagine your dad be like, "That's my boy." <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, my dad says like, "I was like, weren't you worried?" He said, "No." 
He's like, you've been camping with us how many times? He's like, if you can't set up a tent by yourself, then like I failed. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Though. Yeah, I know. at your funeral, he's just like, <laughs> he should have. He's I, not my son. He should have <laughs> known how. That's great parenting. <laughs> well, he was like, they were telling us like, you've been camping with us like because they used to drag me every summer until I was like seventeen. So like, I had a bit of outdoorsy experience. Like I knew the basics, and then uh, mm-hmm. safe to say, a lot of people on that trip didn't. So like, people like us, me, saved the rest of the people. Hundred percent. You literally just sat there. Yeah, you. I was like, you know, I was a field manager, you know, making sure everyone he, had the Making resources. sure all the girls were okay. Making sure all their <laughs> pants fit snug and oh, off, you know. God. But, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, we are at about an hour. I know, Rob, you said you yeah, wanted I to gotta, about 8.30. I gotta so do got, some shit. We got 10 minutes for any closing thoughts or stories or... I see Drew's Okay, I see no interest in this. <laughs> Both phones come out. Yikes. Hey man, all I'm saying Drew's still is still worried that he dropped his phone and yeah. busted. Hundred uh, <laughs> percent. All I'm saying is, this is the first time I've been Shut able up, to man. climb in like. Oh, like, I thought I would trim my sideburn again. All like, I'm saying fuck. is, Rob's got uneven sideburns. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm excited for you. Yeah, I'm pumped. <laughs> Drew's fun. Did I get that. a couple of V ones under my belt today? I haven't climbed since last Monday. I look forward to having Coach so Drew weak. back. Yeah, Coach Drew. Yeah, buddy, yeah. I'll help you get some V sixes today. Hey. Drew Brees, yeah. he's back. Yeah, Drew Brees is back. Coach. He's gonna be like, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you get this route. Two hundred dollars if you yeah. crush this route. Two hundred dollars if you remind, fall and break your leg. Remind me after this, I'll you transfer you. Good oh, point. Yeah, let's never mind. go. Yeah, forget about it. For, Thirty oh, bucks. Right. <laughs> Thirty. Twenty. This is twenty okay, bucks. Rob, Rob. So that's twenty. Be the unbiased third party here, Rob. When Shh. Drew has made, <laughs> Drew has made bets with us, and he made bets. The one bet he made with no, me. No, just one bet. The, my bets are, we're squared up. Yeah. We'll figure that out. So he made a bet with me. Nothing changed. You know what you oh, owe yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. This was <laughs> last year. Well, I know what I owe him too. He just doesn't know what I owe him. This was early 2019. We made a bet and Drew said $5 that the Leafs would win the Stanley Cup that year. That's an awful bet. Yeah. Okay. okay but anyway. So $5. And then with he gets his, odds. and this was when he was unemployed. He gets his job. Okay. And then my the, my part of the bet was that if they do make it, I give him, or if they win, I give him 15. He gives me five. But okay. then he got a job. So I was like, okay, it's only fair that it should be, if you get it wrong, it should be 15 to 15. It should yeah. be even now. But we never shook on it. The, what we shook on was five and 15. We had a verbal. I even remember. No, it was, it was verbal doesn't mean shit. It was while we were playing Siege. And then we I did said, not. I never was said, why <clears> in my <throat> right mind would I be like, yeah, if I get a job, then I'll pay more. No, no, no. You didn't say that. I'm saying the bet was made verbally. Yeah, five and 15. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. You're barking up the wrong tree. This guy just recently fell into a job. <laughs> yeah, scared of making I've, any bets with you in the I've future. I've never backed up any bet I've ever made. Just a disclaimer. The only reason I haven't paid him is because he thinks I owe him $15 and is, I know I owe him 5 A bet isn't a bet until that shake, ha- shake happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So it's not I a bet until the microphone but shakes. we were playing Siege, and I remember, because I even have it recorded. Oh, you're playing Siege, so it has to be a bet. Then. No, it was in one of my old videos, and I said, okay, we're verbally agreeing to this. And he it's said, not yes. a handshake. No, my, I, I have no problem paying the kid $5. Mm-hmm. He thinks I and owe we don't him 15 care about, We don't care about the details of handshaking. I'm saying, because he got a job, it should be up to the 15-15 as opposed to the 5-15. to Because I said 5, because he had no money. So you want to change a contract on him after you've already shaken on him. After this he's already the won the bet. So now this has gone on for, what, like a year? Yeah. <laughs> It's Man. like we're talking like so 25 we're talking 30. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. giant odds now. As soon as as soon as he realizes that I only owe him five dollars, five dollars this is. You shook it's on five dollars. It's up to like thirty. <laughs> it is five dollars. Like I'm telling you, you you made an agreement and you shook on it at the time. And after he won, he's like, Oh, you owe me you owe me fifteen <laughs> now. <laughs> I didn't think it was after I won because you got the job before the Leafs got eliminated, didn't you? Man, this guy yeah. picks his... Yeah, but you never brought it up then. Yeah, I did. This no, guy did This guy picks his teeth with, with, with Tesla Hood ornaments. Well, doesn't I need more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you brought it up to a random third party who had no... What is there? It me. It me. <laughs> it me, gritty. <laughs> Maybe you shook, on, you shook on five. Let us know in the I comments. Shook for him. <laughs> I shook for him. If only that's how I shook. Change my, change my agent. Change my third arm. <laughs> I stole his fingerprints. To him. <laughs> put them on a paper. And he's like, yeah, these are your fingerprints. Remember when you did this with me? <laughs>
<laughs> when you were asleep. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's While you're having a fucking, uh, what do you call it, when you can't move again? Sleep, sleep paralysis. When you're having yeah. sleep paralysis, Shane's just getting his fingerprints. The guy that was holding my hand <laughs> was actually <laughs> Shane getting my fingerprints. <laughs> I don't know if that story made it into the podcast. Ah, uh, Because that was like during the five minute segment where all the audio just cut out for some reason. Fucking rip. Oh, it was, right. oh yeah, no, it was specifically when you started talking. You said something, it just cuts out. <laughs> and then at the end, when it starts talking again, you're like, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, it was all perfect right. for editing. Well, it's like, all right, I just cut that all out. Just all favor. I'll tell you guys my story next week. Ooh. You'll be riveted. And well, I'll, I'll, in the comments, let us know because I actually don't remember if that was that specific story, if it was a yeah, different one. They'll but, let us know. They're smarter than yeah. all of us. Okay. What about Drew Sleep Pro? Should be they prompt. being the comment section. Should be pr- should be prompt the Yo, comment section. Comment section, easy. What? what do you think about the bet? Yeah, should yeah. Drew owe me 15 or Man, 5? Man, you know I the whole he, comment I, section's going to be like, yeah, fuck wait, Drew. So wait, Rob, actually... what's, what's your opinion? My take five? is that it's 5 because you shook on 5. My yeah. take is it's it's up to 25. Yeah, but that's because you're a shit thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Because of interest. Possibly 30. 50 at least. No, no, no. I'm being It's actually 3,000. It's been a year. I'm being reasonable. It's at least 30 bucks. There's no way time value of money on five dollars turns into thirty five no, fucking. Fifteen dollars. If you're getting you those, with? Yeah. if you're getting those types of fucking returns, like I don't sure, like Bernie take all of my money. money, like holy shit. See, we we had a written contract, me and Drew, with the V four and V five thing that no, the interest wouldn't matter. He can pay whenever he needs. Nah, you know, he transferring him twenty bucks after this written 30. contract. Twenty. <laughs> it's, it's thirty bucks for a V six. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's just the difficulty of the climb. I yeah. still know what that means. One day we'll and teach I'm fucking, you. To put I want to like, shave my fucking face. <laughs> put tape. it this way. Ross is saying, I don't know what it means. Christian What's hasn't up, gotten a V4, which is fine. He's going to get there. Oh, it's a, and it's I've a done shot. like I've done like two V4s and mm-hmm. Shane just always does V4s and he is on like <laughs> one V5 now. Yep. Mm-hmm. I need to. So all I'm hearing is that you don't do V4s, man. I, I need, honestly, I think the one thing it <laughs> so is, is like, I, I need to eat more because I need to be able to get more muscle. And I feel like even <laughs> going three times a week, I don't have enough muscle to do it. Like I just get tired because you've Dude, seen me start drinking yeah, protein. Three, well, like tired. even if it just you count how many times you're on the wall, I, I, or I just take probably pre-workout. double the amount. Yeah. Do you want pre workout? Just try taking that yeah. pre workout. like yeah, yeah. fucking steroids. It's sick. I love like, it. Man. Some of them has some creatine in it too, though. Going to the gym is like. Half it's going for the gym, half it's just to get fucking wired off pre workout. Man, have you ever you feel like drunk? Like have you ever hour. downed pre workout and then like forgotten your shoes or something and ran out of time to go to the gym? Like, I've I was, done that, yeah. I, I was another scoop. I'm just I was going <laughs> when I was working out. I was just going snorts. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna I, I go to the gym quick, shower, and then go out to the bar. So I'm like, fuck it, like I need to be up all night. Like I down like a one and a half scoops of pre workout, and I get to the gym and I realize I didn't have my shoes, and I'm like. Well, I don't have time to go to the gym, back home, back to the gym, work out, and then go out. Yeah. So I was just like, fuck it. And I'm just like driving home, buzzing on pre-workout. <laughs> I'm like a- at the gym, I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, let's go. We, 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 we had a drink called the Firecracker where it's just like a shot of vodka with like half a scoop of pre-workout just dropped inside. Jesus. <laughs> the, 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 the people we were with in Dominican had the one night just oh. popped a bunch of pre-workout. It's Why? fucking sick, man. It's, 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 it's just crazy. caffeine. Yeah, yeah. It just gives it's, you pre- it's, it's just a fuck it, it gives ton you of caffeine. Like a, it but. gives you a bump. But there's no downside at the end. Yeah, like I feel, yeah, I feel like a you don't more crash. About it. Yeah. I I crash, but it's just because I take a lot. Yeah, and, not, well, and then you I don't drink. Work out. I don't drink coffee. And like yeah. I I micro dose, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just snort just like four like... fucking lines. That's it. <laughs> he just has an IV. Yeah. Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have my my favorite video from Frosh Week is just one of my friends just eating a scoop of protein powder and it's just like ah i've taken like a dry scoop of pre-workout before i went over the water but it's so funny because he starts laughing halfway through and he's just like oh the the puffs it's like puffs of pre-workout it's a cinnamon challenge yeah yikes all right we should end it here so rob can go (laughs) oh yeah just do your interview and then let us know next week how it went yeah Yeah. i'm probably not gonna take it because it's just not a good he's the one with the hands on it situation don't look at me man it just sounds like he's clapping cheeks. There's only one. There's only one. Oh, we're all of our hands are up here. Because Drew's not wearing socks. <laughs> Drew's not wearing socks, so it sounds like he's like slapping a bare ass. And he does that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Mike's gonna actually pick that up. I hope like, not. If they're not shitty, they should, man. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anyways, that'll be it for this week. Uh, remember to let us know whether Drew owes me fifteen or fifteen dollars in the comments, and uh, five or, or five. 30. 
And and for all your Ravens fans out there, big trust. <laughs> big trust. <laughs> sure. All right, let's take our guys. Bye.